Well, I finally saw more jackalope than I could possibly ever imagine here at the Wild Jackalope Exxon in Du Bois, Wyoming. It truly is. Check this out. This is the greatest place. If you go through Wyoming on your way to Yellowstone or wherever, you got to go into Du Bois and come in here and check out this jackalope. I could have got on it, but I didn't have the guts. <laughs> Finally, finally found the king jackalope right here. And this is the place, man. This is the greatest. It's always best just to take the unmarked roads. So I was with Mountain Dew and his old lady for like four days or more. And we're sitting out there and I don't remember what it was I was doing, you know. But uh, I was looking down at the ground, you know, just like, you know, just 
looking around or looking in a pan or something, and he looks at me like, what the hell's he doing, you know? And he goes, what are you doing? And I said, looking for silver. <laughs> I just screwing with him hard, man. You know, just having fun. And he looked at me like, you dumb son of a bitch. What are you doing looking for silver? <laughs> and that one's for you, Jeff. You know, that was one of the high points of this trip right there. That just cracked me up. Yeehaw! Woohoo! Looking for silver! <laughs> I'm sitting here at a road stop. Yeah, just driving down the road, still kind of getting to Yellowstone. We are in Grand Teton National Park still. I don't know why it's called that. I can't figure it out. I don't see any Tetons anywhere. I, I mean, is Teton some kind of a bird? I just don't get it. Silver! <laughs> I found it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I've been laughing about that one all day. Yeah, the Grand Tetons. Is that just the most amazing sight? That is really cool, you know? I will find a vista and stop and we will check this out in a little bit. So here I am at the Grand Teton stop and it's uh, 1215. It's lunchtime. Their cash registers aren't working. So, I got in for free. <laughs> it's like 25 bucks. Can you believe that? I mean, wow, incredible. I got in for free. <laughs> it's like, what a trip, man. Their cash registers are down during lunchtime. Now, this is Wyoming, man. I'm, I'm liking this. They said they'll take care of me at Yellowstone. Well, heck, I might just have to turn around and go back down to Idaho. So I got to go dredging down there in a couple days. So I might just do that. Just enjoy the day right here at the Tetons. And we'll check it out and see, man. This is going to be pretty cool. I got a free day from the state of Wyoming. <laughs> ah, man, my luck just never changes, you know. It never does. <laughs> good luck. Good times. Wow, another lake. This is Twin Lakes. I found a real nice camping spot down on the river. But that was about 2 o'clock. It's like 2.30 now. So I thought I'd take a run up here to Twin Lakes and check it out. It's beautiful. Definitely works, you know. It really does. Huge lake. Nice alpine glacier lake. Wow, the Grand Tetons. This is the best view so far. We're going to beat it. We're going to get closer. 
but this works. That's a better shot. Right in the road though. Kind of a pain in the butt. Well, according to the locals, I found the uh, best unknown access to the back of Jackson Lake. Because it's not marked or nothing. I just took one of another one of those dirt roads forever. And, uh, Ended up here at the lake, man. You know? And it's definitely a beautiful place. So, I downloaded this GPS to my phone. <laughs> it shows me exactly where I am here. But I don't want to show you. But yeah, I'm here. This is pretty cool. So yeah, I got a GPS on my phone now. The only thing I gotta do now is figure out how to use it. So I downloaded this View Ranger outdoor GPS. And it's pretty cool. Yeah, Jackson Lake, man. This is the spot. Had dinner. Not much, but, you know, I'm just not that hungry when I'm not doing nothing but driving anyway. 5.05. Lots of antelope. Check it out, the bear print on the mountain, man. Isn't that just the most awesome thing? Still on this old dirt road, man, and this is just, this is definitely the road for the view that I'm looking for. And that's the view I want. I just really want the sun down on the front, but it's not gonna happen. That is the glacier on Monroe Mountain. I think it's Monroe.
We are right below the bear claw on the mountain. And this is the waterfall that's produced as the snow or glacier melts. Yeah. This was an interesting little road. You know? All kinds of animals down here, and I'm just on this little old dirt road that I took off out in the middle of nowhere as usual. And it's like, yeah, it'd probably take me about three hours to get back to the main road, I guess, if I had to walk it. But that's what we have the Hummer for. And uh, yeah, I just keep taking these roads and just keep seeing amazing things. I, yeah, it was just flat out incredible. I've seen, I don't know how many prairie dogs just now, but there was actually one up on top of one of these little bushes. Well, I got my buffalo. You know? I might be able to get a little bit closer on this road. Wow. How lucky can I get? I got my buffalo. All right, let's hunt some buffalo, man. Which ones are we gonna take? We got these three here. Or is there four? There's four, isn't there? Yeah, I think. Yeah, there's four of them there. Look at that. Oh no, it's just one. Look at that, he's got a bird right on his back. Did you see that? There's another one on his back too. They're just flying and landing on his back. Okay, so we have this herd of three. Then, can we get the other herd way out there? One, two, three, four, five, possibly six in that one. Wow. I mean, thanks, Lord. You know, I owe it to you. There's no way I could have ever found this spot on my own. There's just no way. I am so far on the edge of this hillside and just like out in the middle of nowhere. It's just wild, man. And then as I'm driving down here, I'm going to zoom this back in. Over here as the shadow's going out. That little bloop right there. That's the Hummer. And as I was driving down here, I'm watching the Hummer go through. And it's going to be just about low enough for me to see the tires here when I start leaving this place.
just keeps coming closer and closer to me. Is that just too much? I got my buffalo. <laughs> 840. You know, out of battery. I'll have to change batteries here in a second when it dies on me. But wow, I got it. Whew. I am just so. My stomach is just like, oh, man, those butterflies feel good. They really do. Well, as the sun is setting over the Grand Tetons, what a great day. What a great day. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. It's going to be dark soon. <laughs> Thank God I uploaded a GPS program on how to get the heck out of here. Because there were so many dirt roads, I just kept taking the one that looked like it was leading over to the edge of this valley. I had no idea where I was going, you know. Yes! I am here! made it. I chased them off a little bit. I'm not willing to make them go too fast, but they're walking away. They're going to go gather the rest of that herd, make it six altogether. Hey, you know what? I am here. They can see me. I don't know if they can see this far, really. I know they really can't. They don't have that good of eyes. But he's booking. <whistles> and there they go. Yes. You know what? I used to have them stare me down years ago. Like that. But they were a lot closer. They were like 10 feet away. See, they are part of the same herd. There was four in that herd. I don't know where the other one came from. So now we got the six all together. Then we have the other five or six that were on the other part of the forest over there. And there another herd of antelope. Yeah, you know. It's the gold miner in me, I guess. I just love getting out in the woods, no matter what I'm doing. 
whether I'm hunting for buffalo with a camera, I might add. Just out four wheeling in the Hummer. In the middle of nowhere. I just had an antelope. As soon as I turned the camera, he just came up the hill about 50 yards from me and started running across the hillside. I think it was one of those groups that we just filmed. He actually came up this hill. But yeah, here it is. The middle of summer, Wyoming. Thanks, Wyoming. So, my cell phone GPS is leading us out of here. It's doing a mighty fine job. That little red arrow right there is me driving. Now, when I stop, it turns to a point. So that's pretty good. I mean, it works. It works really well. Just thought I'd show you that. Here I am in the middle of the night. I'm going to follow that road down. I'm going to come right back out on the highway again. We're going to start heading. I haven't made up my mind yet. Are we going to be going to Idaho to go gold mining? Or are we going to be going back up here since I got in here for nothing? And look for something else. So that, you know, I'll decide when I get there. Well, I just passed through the gate. To Jackson Hole. It's 9:30. Well, actually, it's 10:30. And uh, wow, that was a free day. Yeah, Incredible, a free day. You know, you don't get those very often. What a wonderful day I'm on.